what's up boneheads thanks for checking out another video um, we're doing something different today this is not technically a recipe it's more of a tip on a method of cooking and let me explain to that all you hunters um, you know we love using the meat that we harvest and making it into different items to consume so this might pertain more to big game hunters because they're taking so much meat in to get made into different things um, one of those things being breakfast sausage who doesn't love a good breakfast sausage um, this breakfast sausage is actually made from goose. So I think two years ago or last year, we took in a bunch of goose breasts to get um, processed into some different things. Breakfast sausage caught my eye. I got like 10 pounds of this stuff made and it's delicious. Today though, I'm gonna show you a different method of how to cook wild game breakfast sausage or you could use this method for a regular breakfast sausage. <clears throat> and we're gonna use the sous vide. If you follow the channel, you know I'm a big fan of the sous vide. I use it all the time. In fact, you see that green light behind me? It's going right now. It's cooking deer steaks for dinner. How good does that sound? It's dreary outside. It's been raining all day. It's gloomy. It's cold. Deer steaks are going to hit the spot. But I'm going to turn right around and I'm going to use it for wild game breakfast sausage. So the downside to this for me is I always feel like I got to cook the whole package. Or if I want to just make a little bit, I got to thaw it out, patty a couple, cook them, save the rest in the refrigerator, try to use that over the next few days before it goes bad. The method I'm gonna use is very simple. We're gonna take this breakfast sausage just the way that it is in the packaging. Now this thing, she's frozen. So I'm gonna set it on a plate here, I'm gonna let it thaw for a couple hours, but then I'm gonna vacuum seal it. That's all I'm gonna do, vacuum seal this package in the bag, and I'm gonna set the, I'm gonna set the sous vide at probably like 148 degrees drop it in and I'm gonna let it go overnight. I'm gonna let it go about 12 hours in there. I've read some different things as I researched this. Some say 24 hours. I think that's entirely too long. I can cook a prime rib roast in that thing in six to eight hours. I don't need a whole day for this thing. But I'm gonna go 12 hours. That way you can put it on when you go to bed um, or before you go to bed. It's there when you, it's ready when you get up in the morning. Now, if you're cooking for a big group of people, say you're at deer camp, and you've got to cook breakfast the next morning. This is a great way, throw it in there. It's all ready, chop, 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 slice them up, sear them on each side, you got your breakfast sausage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook this thing whole, then I'm gonna slice it into about the size of patties that I would normally like. Probably leave it just that round. I'm gonna cut it right in the tube almost. I'm gonna seal those and freeze them. So I'm gonna freeze them in probably packages of two or three, so that way if there's a morning, hey, I wanna grab a couple breakfast sausage patties, I set them out in the refrigerator the night before, and I've got them ready. So it kind of breaks them into individual serving sizes. And I, I'm probably gonna cook a couple, you know, just to test it out. If they turn out bad, you're never gonna see this video anyways. So here's our breakfast sausage. We're making wild game breakfast sausage overnight in the sous vide. You can consume it or you can individually pack it and freeze it. So I'm gonna set this out and then we'll get started on it. Go ahead and vacuum seal that sausage. And then I've got the sous vide running at 148 degrees for 12 hours. Clip that bag in and you're good to go. Here we are the next morning and this thing is about done. Now pros tip, when you cut into it the first time, do it over the sink. There's a lot of juice has been cooking in there and you want to avoid a mess. But now you can just slice these how you want them for breakfast set them aside and then you're going to vacuum seal these in batches of two three four five however many you like so you can pull them out of the freezer and have them anytime you want for a good breakfast now don't worry we went ahead and did a little sample but i think you guys can figure out the way 